James Isaac Lankford of Chrisfield is an enigma, a legend in his own time, a walk in history book, and all of those words and phrases used to describe a rare and endangered species. These days, 94-year-old Lake Lankford busies himself in his backyard workshop doing what he's been doing for a hobby and pleasure since he was 11 years old, carving waterfowl and admiring his lifelong collection of Indian artifacts. Lake Lankford is a real-life mixture of Daniel Boone, Sergeant York, and Cochise, but known best as one of the last of the old-time market gunners, men who carved their own decoys, made their own guns, and survived in those hard days of yore by skiffing up on waterfowl on moonlit nights and with one shot from their monster guns, dispatch scores of waterfowl to their happy hunting grounds. We killed 125 brant and 22 geese one night, three head of it. I killed 61 redheads one shot. These were the days when waterfowl were packed into barrels and shipped off to a demanded market on the East Coast. It was a way of life for men in the ilk of Lake Lankford. Were there more waterfowl in his youth than there are today? Oh, my God. There's millions more. It was just like a cloud when they fly up, just like a big black thunderstorm cloud or something. It's been 20 years since Lake Lankford has hunted waterfowl. Is it still in his blood? Oh, my. Sometimes I dream about it. I talk with my sleep and everything. James Isaac Lake Lankford, last of a breed. Men like him have traversed the pages of waterfowl history. They will never pass this way again. <laughs>